guys, I've partnered up with Amino to finally do my university revision tips video. So I'm just going to be sharing with you everything that I did last year to help me get a first. Getting straight into it, number one is organisation. You have to stay organised at uni. Last year I made weekly to-do lists and I'd plan out everything that I had to do. But this year I've upgraded a little bit and I've made a bullet journal. Basically it is like a personal diary to-do list kind of thing. Before I show you my bullet journal, I want to show you the Amino you know app because they are the ultimate back to school app and they've got so many cool features and they've actually got a bullet journal section so I've got it downloaded here they've got the headlines page they've got the my aminos page and they've got the explore page in the explore page these are all the back to school aminos and aminos are basically like communities you can go in and see all these different um, topics. So my favourites were school style, um, dorm room design, uh, studying amino and obviously bullet journal. So I'm going to show you bullet journal. You just click enter amino and then it takes you in and just scroll through and you can see how everyone else is doing their bullet journals. Everyone's so creative on here and it's just a really good way to get inspiration. But one really cool thing that I wanted to show you is if you slide to the left here and then you go on to public chat rooms. They've actually got a voice chat with YouTuber Street or Vintage, so we can actually voice chat. You just click onto that, and then you just click join. And aside from chat rooms, they've got the latest feed, they've got polls, they've got questions. I also really like the back to school style. And yeah, you can just scroll through and get inspiration. Oh, I love that outfit. And in the back to school, you know, they've also got different public chat rooms. If you wanted to voice chat, you just click that button and speak into it. And make sure to download it using the link in the description box below so they know that I sent you. And I hope you guys come on to the voice chat and actually talk with me. This is my bullet journal and I have taken a lot of inspiration from Amino. Um, I've got like a books to read page. I've got my calendar and this is mainly where I write my to-do list. So once you're at uni, for each day, write down the lectures that you need to go to, write down the topics that you want to cover after you come back. Um, just make sure each day you have work to do. At uni you do get a lot of free time so if you don't plan out your days you will end up wasting most of it so definitely do to-do lists or have like a bullet journal. So aside from organising your day you also need to be organised with your folders and everything. What I do is I've got a folder for each of my modules so each semester I have four modules, I have four massive folders and I do my lecture notes on like a refill pad and every day come home, rewrite them and then I file it and this way you won't lose any notes and it's just stress free. I feel like honestly if you're organised at uni you will do well. My second tip is to make sure you don't fall behind. So for example if you miss a lecture on that day make sure you go through the slides and write the notes. It's so easy to say oh yeah I'll just do it later and then you get around to next week you go to the lecture you don't understand anything because you still haven't even caught up on this one properly. This has happened to me so many times and yeah, it's just not good. Don't let work build up, it's not worth the stress at the end. If you leave it till the end, you'll have way too much to do and you won't understand anything and it's just really stressful, um, don't let that happen. Just go through it at the same pace as the lecturers. Now I'm gonna talk through exactly how I revised and revision techniques that helped me and basically my schedule. So starting off with lectures, so important you go to these. I'm gonna be 100% honest with you, even in my second year, I did miss a lot of lectures and it's not good, I regret it. And going into next year, I'm gonna force myself to go to all my lectures because at the end of the day, you're paying so much money and they're teaching you. Why are you gonna miss that? You don't even get that many contact hours. So the hours that you do get, make sure you go to them, make sure you go to your tutorials. With lectures as well, they normally put the slides up before the lecture, so make sure you have a read before you go in, just so that you kind of know what to expect, and whilst they're explaining it, you're not there like, what the hell is this? And for me as well, repetition is the way I learn, so by me reading the lectures beforehand, I already kind of knew it, and then I'd go to the lecture, he'd explain it fully, and then afterwards I'd come back and I'd rewrite the notes um, in detail using the textbook. And that is basically how I revised. So for me it was just repetition. The more I rewrote my notes, the more I understood and the better I understood it, the better I did in exams. And again, it varies. Some people can go to a lecture once and they'll know everything. For me, I had to read the textbook so many times to like actually fully understand it. But yeah, again, it depends on the type of learner you are. Just try and figure out 
what works for you and just do that. Another thing to bear in mind is don't just revise to memorize the stuff, try and actually understand it. I know that sounds really generic and like such an obvious answer but there are times when you read the textbook and you will not understand it at all um, but you'll still write it down and in the exams sometimes it's those hard topics that come up and if you don't fully understand it you're not going to know what to write. So what I did with these topics is I talked to Dippy about it, we try and help each other and that honestly helped so much so make sure you find course mates and try and study together occasionally and just discuss things that you're stuck on so that you can figure it out together and if you can't figure it out then just go to your lecturer's office hours and ask them, make the most of them, they have office hours for a reason, go and talk to them, go and pester them, go and get your questions answered. It's better to be clear about everything rather than just hoping it doesn't come up in exams. Another way I revised was through YouTube. There are so many good economics YouTube videos. If you just type in your module name on YouTube, um, you probably will find loads of lectures. They're probably not from your uni, but probably from like American unis and stuff, but I don't know, for me that helped so much. You just have to make sure that you use all the resources around you and get the most out of uni. Now on to revision itself and how to actually revise. Um, again, this depends on what type of learner you are. If you're like a visual learner, then maybe do colourful notes, do like a mind map, do all of that stuff. The way that I revised was very boring, I just rewrote my notes again and again and again. I wasn't really a visual learner so I never really drew like diagrams and coloured stuff in. I'd have my laptop with all my lecture slides, I'd have my textbook, I'd have my refill pad, just go through lecture slides and my textbook simultaneously and I'd combine those two to make my set of notes and those were the notes that I revised from. I didn't revise from the lecture slides, I'd use that with the textbook to make my full set of notes. With things that I found hard I'd go on YouTube or Ask Dippy and then I'd make separate notes on that. By exam time I'd have like a full set of notes for all my modules and I just read that, I rewrite that and yeah I basically learn it all. You just have to find an environment where you can actually revise. I do highly recommend the library because you're surrounded by people in the same situation as you and I feel like them working motivates me. Also my approach to revision changed throughout the year so I started off the year saying I wanted to do exactly this amount of hours of revision so I just sit at the table and I'd revise for that long but then what happened was because I knew I was going to sit at the table for I don't know 10 hours I would be really slow and it wasn't very productive for me so instead what I did towards the end is I just go to the library and until I'd finished all those things I can't come home so rather than being um, focused on time and how much time I revised, I became a bit more goal focused and as long as I had done everything that I needed to do for that day, I could go home whenever. So yeah, it's more about how productive you are and how productive your revision is. Um, just have like goals. So what I mean is I want to cover topics one, two, three, four by the end of today. So I'd stay in the library, I'd cover all of those topics and then I'd go home. Um, so it still took a long time but I just stopped focusing on the hours themselves. The next tip is obviously to do so many past papers. For my course and most of my modules I just have access to past papers but no mark schemes whatsoever. So what we did to get around this was for example I do a past paper, I'd use the textbook to find the answers and I'd create my own mark scheme almost and then Dippy would do the past paper, she'd write down her answers and then we'd compare the answers that we got and we'd talk through it. Obviously if me and her both got the exact same answer and the textbook says it as well, then it's most likely to be right. So even if your uni doesn't publish mark schemes, please do the past papers guys. Um, it's so helpful and for me this year especially, um, so many of my papers that I did were based on past papers and because we worked out the answers for them, it helped so much. I'm not gonna lie, it is really time consuming working out all the answers, but at the end of the day, it is worth it. So please just do all the past papers. Make sure before the exam, you've done all the past papers at least like five times. Another revision tip is to balance out your subjects. Don't just focus on the modules that you're good at. If anything, you should focus more time on modules that you're bad at because those are the ones you're probably not gonna do as well in. I feel like it's probably a lot better to do good in all your subjects rather than really good in some and then really really bad in others. So make sure you allocate your time effectively and you know which subjects you need to focus more on so focus more on those. 
Another tip that I would give is before your final exams, for each module, make a, a list of all the topics. For those topics, just rate them out of 10 on how confident you are for them, and then go through, and the topics that you're not confident in, go through all your notes again, write up more notes, go through your textbooks, go through your lecture slides, and just really focus in on the modules and topics that you don't understand, because they probably will come up, and you don't wanna go into an exam being unsure about certain topics. When you go into the exam, you should be 100% on all of the topics. I feel like if you did start revising from the start, just a little bit each day, then you can get to that stage. That's pretty much my goal for final year. I wanna be going into an exam thinking, yes, I know all my topics. There isn't one topic that I'm like, oh, I hope that doesn't come up about. Another thing is before the final exam, do summary notes. So what I do is, Go through your big set of notes and just summarise everything, just like as an overview for you before the exam. This way you will remember everything that you've learned. Also with past papers, the layout is so important. I feel like you can almost revise the layout and do well in an exam. For example, I had, I think, one or two papers where the layout was the same. They'd always give four questions and you chose two. The first question was always about lectures one and two. The second question was always about lectures three and four and so on. So what I'd do is I'd revise all my lectures but then I'd go into a lot more detail for those first four lectures so that I could get question one and two bang on. Um, so yeah, just go through past papers and work out how it's laid out, how you can get the marks and you just have to be smart about it. Another thing to mention is the importance of tutorials. In tutorials they give you questions that you can practice on and those questions are setting you up for the exam. Make sure you go to your tutorials, make sure you do all of those questions and just have it all done. They also normally do a final revision lecture before the exam. Even if you hadn't gone to any other lectures in your life, please at least go to that final revision lecture because in that lecture some uh, lecturers drop hints they'll kind of slyly tell you what's gonna come up. This has happened um, a few times before and it's just really helpful. And yeah, those hints go a long way. So please don't miss the final revision lectures. Also, when you are revising, please do take breaks. Don't overwork yourself. It's not gonna be productive and everyone needs a break. You can't study for 10 hours continuously. Make sure you're eating healthy. Make sure your mental and physical health is all good. Don't get too stressed over exams. They are really important, but your well-being is so much more important. Yeah, make sure you do always prioritise yourself. Yeah, just make the most of these few years because they are so much more fun compared to like the working world. Um, I can't wait to go back to uni next year, it's going to be so fun. But yeah, that's pretty much all my revision tips. I am going to leave links below to things that I may have mentioned. So yeah, thank you so much for watching guys and hope you all have an amazing time at uni.